Hello everyone, slow down in style, welcome to my channel. Before I start, I'm recording in my sunny spot, so apologies for the changing light, but I hope it won't affect the quality of the video. As you can see from the title of this video, I will be talking about uh, outfit formulas that you can use um, as an inspiration to create some looks for the end of summer and this transitional period before the autumn. So I want to enjoy the last sunny days we have left in my summer clothes, layered with some chunky, cozy knitwear and light outerwear. Well, that's my plan before I start thinking about autumn. So I've prepared a few outfit formulas for you, some combinations that are very easy to put together even if you have different uh, elements, you can still look at the base and create your own version of it. So I'll start with the outfit that I'm wearing today. You will see the theme, very simple, classic pieces that you can just bring from your summer wardrobe. Um, simple white linen shirt and black trousers. As I mentioned, this is just a formula. I'm wearing a full length wide leg trousers, but you can go for a cropped trousers and they don't have to be black. I just like the color combination here. And that's something I've worn a lot over the years. I would just change a shirt to different white cotton shirt, for example, or a blue shirt. I leave this for you, for your interpretation. It's just a really nice light outfit that for now I'm wearing with my sandals. Uh, and I will be wearing my sandals until I'm freezing because I really love this combination of uh, heavier tops or uh, bottoms with my sandals. The gold jewelry I'm wearing in this outfit is new. I just got it on my holiday in Turkey. Uh, I always love to buy something gold in Turkey whenever I can because it's much cheaper back there and the quality is really good. The necklace is actually my old necklace from Poland and I only got new pendant that now I will be swapping with my a round pendant that I also got in Turkey last time. So this is a tip for you if you don't want to spend too much money on uh, real gold or silver jewelry just get one very nice good quality chain and every time you can buy something new get a different pendant it will give you more options for styling and it's so much cheaper than buying the whole necklace. Now in terms of styling this outfit adapting to a changing weather you can either add a, a tank top vest underneath your shirt or you can add something cozy like a nice cashmere jumper on your shoulders so the second outfit is very simple and still very summery white linen trousers and white linen shirt it's light but you can easily wear it in this transitional season and here I just wanted to show you how I fold my sleeves. Basically you fold quite a big chunk of your sleeve. When you do the second fold, make sure you leave a little part of the cuff on display. This is something I've learned from men's wardrobe. It's really quite simple, but I think it looks much more elegant. So it's really up to you. You can tuck your shirt in, you can leave it loose. Most of the time I don't have time to style it too much and I like this nonchalant and oversized look. This outfit is really easy to add some layers to. So you can add a vest underneath your shirt and maybe leave it open so you have some uh, definition, you can show some waist. Or you can do what I did and throw your shirt in the bag and just wear your jumper so it's more clean and neat white t-shirt and blue denim jeans. It couldn't get any more simple and classic. But instead of straight leg jeans, I'm wearing my wide leg jeans. So that already adds something more interesting. And on top of that, because of course I will need some layers, I'm adding my cropped jacket. So automatically, because of the style of the jacket, the outfit becomes more classy and put together. So if you want to make your outfit more 
casual and daily, just add a simple uh, bomber jacket or a denim jacket if you like the double denim look. When I wear this jacket, I'm always very careful with my accessories because it has this very visible golden uh, buttons. So a watch is a must for me, as you know, always. And just simple earrings will do. And of course, sunglasses. Um, now, because I have the same jacket in black, I wanted to show you how the same base changes uh, just by adding a different color jacket. So now because I have the black jacket, I want to add um, more black accessories. So I'm keeping the black belt uh, and my favorite black handbag. So I feel like the outfit is a little bit more autumnal and has a different vibe to it. I like them both. I would just wear them on different occasions depending on my mood. This is a great day to night outfit. You just need to change your shoes into something more classy like strappy sandals and maybe add some more makeup and you're ready to go. Next outfit is again one of my favorite combinations. A white t-shirt and wide leg trousers. Again, this is a great base. You can use different color or fit of your trousers. I'm styling my wool trousers. I chose not to wear a belt because I feel like it would be just too much and I wanted to keep it quite casual. Now with this outfit you can choose whatever jacket you want to wear. I have two options for you, you know me, I love showing you different options of one outfit because I know it can give you some ideas on how to style your own clothes. So the first version is with my beautiful grey blazer from Arquette. The trousers, as you can see, are not grey. They have a Prince of Wales pattern or check, but the colors go really well together and I don't think you need to match your trousers and blazer exactly. Keeping the same base, I only added a leather jacket and you can see how it changed the whole outfit. Uh, well, apologies, I also changed the shoes to my black shoes, but I actually love this outfit with sneakers as well. It's really up to you what shoes you want to wear. I feel like because of the colors are darker now, it's a little bit more autumnal and, well, more waterproof as well <laughs> because of the leather jacket. In both cases, I kept my black leather bag. I feel like this bag can elevate any outfit, whatever you wear. And here is another all-white outfit. I feel like I'm still not ready to let go of my white clothes because I don't wear that much white in winter. Uh, so this is very simple, a white t-shirt and white linen trousers. I wanted to keep this base very minimal. No accessories, no belt, just simple gold necklace and watch, of course. For the outerwear, I wanted to add something that's quite a statement here. And I really wanted to focus on the coat. This is my old, very favorite trench coat. You know it very well. And I just added my brown uh, basket bag just to emphasize the beige of the coat. And I love the simplicity of this outfit. I really feel like I'm gonna wear it a lot, as long as it's dry, of course. And and a very simple trick that you can use with any outfit here. I added a jumper for those colder days when I know I'm gonna be out for a few hours and I want to have something warm and cozy just in case. This outfit is very classic and masculine. The trousers are vintage from men's department and the blazer is also men's from Arquette that I got in sale a few years ago. The whole outfit is just white and navy and I added a few black details here. The croc effect bag and the belt and black Birkenstocks. By the way, I love this outfit. These trousers are actually too big for me, so I always wear them with a belt. Everything. Um, is quite relaxed and oversized in this outfit, but I think that's the reason I love it. I wear this outfit whenever I want to feel more empowered. I need something to give me confidence. 
for some reason men's and vintage clothes have this nonchalant vibe something very classy and sexy i don't know how it works but it works on me this outfit can be worn with sandals and sneakers or maybe even loafers for when it gets cold and more gloomy this is the most feminine outfit in this uh, whole video uh, but i think it just reflects how much i wear skirts and dresses again a simple base a tank top and slip skirt remember this is just a formula so you can wear different skirt uh, if you have a pleated skirt or even denim midi skirt anything that works for your lifestyle and for your body shape now for this transitional season i really love adding something oversized to it so either a blazer a denim jacket or even if you have a big oversized jumper to throw over your shoulders and later when it's cold put it on just something to juxtapose the femininity of the skirt a midi skirt or midi dress is such a great transitional piece with simple tweaks you can prolong the life of your favorite pieces and enjoy them in different uh, combinations with different layers so to prove my point i changed my shoes for beige loafers i feel like they work really well with uh, the white top and beige blazer you could try um, black loafers but i feel like that will make your bottom really heavy so maybe add a white or beige socks to it and the last outfit again very simple formula striped top and blue jeans this is something i call a seaside outfit quite casual but very put together and something that I always feel very comfortable and confident in. These jeans are really great. They're very loose but not too baggy. They add some interest to my outfit but I don't lose the shape. For a jacket I added my men's navy blazer from a previous outfit. It's made from a very fine beautiful wool so it's great for any weather uh, depending on the layers that you're wearing. I wouldn't be myself if I didn't show you a different version of this outfit. This minimal, great quality linen blazer elevates any outfit I pair it with, even a simple t-shirt and jeans. This outfit is very summery, but imagine a cotton or cashmere striped jumper with same jeans layered with beautiful long beige coat or even a trench coat and you have a perfect autumnal outfit. And this is a great outfit formula, a combination that can take you from summer to autumn or even winter. And it can be styled in many different ways or for different occasions. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it interesting and useful for creating your own outfits with your own clothes. Thank you so much for watching i really appreciate every single one of you also i really need your opinion on something i would like to create more videos on styling the pieces that you already have in your wardrobe and now the autumn is coming so if you have any suggestions you would like to see me styling something um five different ways for example please drop a comment that will be very very useful information for me if you did enjoy this video and you would like to see more from me please subscribe to my channel and in the meantime take care and i see you in the next video bye